Bill and Cheryl, another mass shooting at an American school has local school leaders doing two things. One, expressing their grief and backing their community, and two, reviewing security procedures. We need to make sure we take care of each other. It's a 24-hour drive from Colonial Heights to Uvalde, Texas, a distance that feels much shorter Wednesday. I think it weighs a, a lot on all of us, all, you know, teachers, students, uh, administration, because we're constantly thinking about all the things that we have to do in schools, but now we're constantly thinking about that other piece. Dr. William Schroof is the superintendent of Colonial Heights Schools. Safety is woven into what we do, and we're, we know, we take an, a holistic approach to it. In light of Uvalde, Shroof says his leadership team may consider reviewing their safety protocols more frequently than required by the state. What I want to know for, from our standpoint is, you know, how the young man got into the building, how did he access the building, and those are the things that to see how we're operating. In 2019, following the Parkland school shooting, Virginia doubled the amount school districts can get for security each year. The grant money is capped at $250,000 per district. Shroof says that's helpful, but improving security infrastructure is not cheap. It did increase a couple of years ago, but it's still a competitive grant system. If we want to keep schools safe, we should fully fund schools. You know, we should fully fund um, the, the safety of schools. Wednesday, districts across Central Virginia made counselors available for students and staff. Trying to figure out, like, okay, if somebody did come in. This Chesterfield parent is also a teacher and sums up what so many of her colleagues must think about these days. There's a Facebook post going around talking about, you know, teachers walk into a room and it's like, all right, where's the things I can put in front of the door? Where's the exits? What does my classroom look like from the outside? Can anybody see through my windows? You know, it's it's terrifying. Virginia's budget negotiators continue their deliberations still. It remains to be seen if this latest shooting at a school in America will lead to more dollars going towards school safety. We'll, of course, keep you posted.